My name is Mike Mills and I'm a writer-director. I also do graphics and art, but I just did this film called Beginners. Sex, life, healing, nature, magic. The memory of love. Ewan McGregor's character trying to fall in love with Melanie and Ewan McGregor's character trying to understand his dad who just came out of a closet when he was 75 and had five very gay years before he passed away. I'm gay. I remember him wearing a purple sweater when he told me this, but actually he wore a robe. I'm gay. His dad's now gone, he's remembering him, but he's trying to understand what, who was his dad, what was real, and what is real love. My parents were born then, married in 55, married for 44 years, my mom passed away, my dad came out. My dad passed away five years later. Arthur, you're coming to live with me now, okay? I did throw a lot of myself in. That's the bathroom. This is the living room. I do graphics. I, I inherited my dad's dog. We live in California, and like, we share a lot. So I wrote it from my perspective. And I think it was partly because I was having sort of like, you know, my second parent had just passed away. I was 38. And I was having a bit of a crisis of like who I am, what can I do as a director? And as it seemed like the film might not get made, the more I put myself into it or stuff from me. But my goal was to make a really specific, concrete, personal story. Before Anna, I had four serious relationships. I let all of them fall apart. Just be happy about it, huh? But I'm really interested in our emotional lives, and I feel like that's my turf. That's what I, interests me the most, and I feel like our emotional lives are actually historical and political and social. My parents got married in 1955. They had a child and they stayed married for 44 years until my mother died. I do think that's what films are good at. Films are good at making you feel and cry and, and have cathartic completion with these characters. And I am once again with you. People trying to be in relationships, trying to be connected with each other. And it's about history, what's available to people at different times. For my dad being born in 1924, getting married in 55, but being a gay man, what can happen? We, me and my dad had conversations very much like that. And my dad, coming from being born as a gay man in 1924, he had to deal with lots of negotiations and not getting what you want. Even his marriage to my mom, which was filled with lots of real love, but also was a, quite a negotiation and me and my sisters, I think, kind of un felt my parents' unconscious loneliness more than they ever felt it and didn't want to make a lot of these negotiations or sacrifices or, you know. And so that was a big conversation we were always having, you know. My dad always saying, you got to settle. And me always saying, look who's talking. Oliver? Yeah. They had some wonderfully loud music in the club tonight. Music, 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 music. What kind of music's that? Probably house music. Yep. House music, <laughs> okay, house, house music. Film is definitely like the biggest boat I get on. It's got the most stuff, it takes the longest, it's the hardest, it's maybe the deepest. You can never get it right, you know? Uh, it's easier to do a, a record cover and feel like, oh, I nailed that record cover. A film, you never quite feel like that. I love being a, a writer, director so much. I'm so happy when I'm on set. I'm so happy when I'm working with the actors. They were too, they love the project. They were all having a great time. So I was actually quite happy. And I don't, I like remembering my dad. It's very sweet to still have my parents in some form, even if it's imaginary.